the exchange rates for the U.S. dollar remain stable in the markets of Baghdad and Erbil on Saturday, marking steady prices as the week came to a close. According to a Shea Fake News Agency survey, the U.S. dollar maintained its price at 149,200 IQD per 100 in al Kifa and al Harithiya central exchanges, the same rate recorded earlier in the day. Local currency exchange shops in Baghdad also reported a selling price of 150,250 IQD per 100 and a buying price of 148,250 IQD. In Erbil, the selling price stood at 149,200 IQD and the buying price at 149,000 IQD per 100. Iraq's central bank CBI has signed a deal with consulting firm Oliver Wyman to overhaul the country's banking sector following a serial ban of Iraqi banks from U.S. dollar transactions. In July 2023, the U.S. imposed a ban on 14 Iraqi banks from conducting transactions in U.S. dollars. This measure was reportedly taken to prevent the transfer of dollars from Iraq to Iran and other countries that are under U.S. sanctions. The central bank said in a statement that Oliver Wyman would develop solutions to reintegrate these banks into both the Iraqi and international banking systems and improve their procedures to meet global standards. This initiative aims to facilitate direct banking relationships and enhance the quality of services provided by Iraqi banks to better serve the Iraqi economy. Oliver Wyman is expected to commence its work soon. The central bank governor, Ali Alak, who is currently visiting New York, led the Iraqi delegation that signed the contract. In February, Iraq banned eight local commercial banks from engaging in U.S. dollar transactions, taking action to reduce fraud, money laundering, and other illegal uses of U.S. currency. The banks were banned from accessing the Iraqi Central Bank's daily dollar auction, a main source of hard currency in the import-dependent country that has become a focal point of a U.S. crackdown on currency smuggling to neighboring Iran. A rare ally of both the United States and Iran with more than $100 billion in reserves held in the U.S., Iraq relies heavily on Washington's goodwill to ensure that its access to oil revenues and finances are not blocked.